William Hartnell is one of the most remembered and celebrated actors to portray the Doctor. He started this 50 year journey that the show has been on and has gained a legendary status amongst all fans. Apart from me, because I hate William Hartnell's Doctor. And here's why. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're playing a game at the moment, and it's quite addicting. So you got these doctors, right? And when you put them together, y you make the next doctor. Yeah, and you go, so two William Hartnells make a Patrick Troughton, two Patrick Troughtons make a John Pertwee. And you use the arrow keys, and it moves all of the ones that can actually move. We lost a game. But it doesn't, you see, it doesn't make sense to me, because surely... You know, two... I've got Colin Baker. Well, two John Pertwee should make a... You know, two John Pertwee should t make a Colin Baker, not a Tom Baker. That's a good point, actually. Basic mathematics. Christopher H. Bidmead, eat your heart out. I mean, it gets to the point in this game where you're so addicted and you can't actually shut your eyes without seeing the game. I don't know if you've got this problem, too. My, my eyes have been bleeding. But every single time you merge two of them, William Hartnell's face bloody appears. It's the only time in your life you'll be disappointed to see more of the first two Doctors. What's your highest score, Billy? 13,572, John. So, they re did you see that new picture they released of, of that new monster? Oh, yeah, that one that leaked online. Um, it's got horns. Yeah. Is, is Doctor Who actually changing? Because Stephen Moffat's constantly going on about like this new era, this new Peter Capaldi era. But let's face it, people don't talk about um, the David Tennant era, or the Christopher Eccleston era, or, you know, the... Um, the Colin Baker era. They talk about the RTD era or the Stephen Moffat era or, or the, you know, the JNT era because that's when I, there's a huge shift in tone. Behind the scenes. and uh, Yeah. So I think it's important. To, I got Christopher Eccleston. I think it's important to talk about like what is actually changing about this show and is it worth calling it a new era? Well... Sort of, yes, because different people will be brought in because of the, 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 the actor in the lead role. The, the, but the thing is, it's, it's it's not really a new era. It's just... I got Paul McGann. I got Paul McGann. I think we'll be a lot better off when a new showrunner comes in. I don't know when that would be. I don't know. If I was a... No! I personally, I do not want to be the new showrunner because it's be the whole show has become the Stephen Moffat show to me. Everything, he's, he's, he's stapled his face over everything in canon. Yeah, I mean, think about it like this. Obviously, you know, what Stephen Moffat's written is his own, uh, during his own era, is fair enough. You've, you've got, as a showrunner, you want to put your stamp on it, but you don't have to put your stamp. You don't have to poo on everyone else's work. And that's what I think he's done. In the name of the Doctor, he he like he he gave us the reason that why uh, the, the Doctor shows that, that, that particular, particular TARDIS, and it's because of bloody Clara. In the day of the Doctor, he decided to rewrite uh, what happens in the Time War, and that basically takes all the impact out of what Russell T Davis has done. I know people say, you know, oh think about it this way: you can now watch Series One with a new light, and but I don't think this this version of it holds the same impact. And then, um, of course, in, in Time of the Doctor, he he decided to just waste the final in incarnation story. Yeah, he's created a whole new kind of ridiculously over-complex canon. And it's just... I, I know I sound angrier than I probably should be, but it's something that's been getting to me a little bit. And it's been probably one of the causes that 
I'm not quite as into Doctor Who as I used to be anymore. And it's not just... Um, it's not just... No! Bring on! It's not just Stephen Moffat's era, because I think if if Stephen Moffat's era, look at it this way, people hated Russell T. There are people who hated Russell T. Davis, and I yeah. didn't like all of Russell. I didn't think his era was perfect, and I think there was a lot to moan about for it. But at the same time, if you didn't like Russell's era, you could always go back and watch, you know, uh, a, a Tom Baker or a John Pertwee episode without thinking Russell's completely screwed over the canon for these guys he's he's left his mark on this classic series so i can't enjoy it and i think that says a lot i think i think we're in a situation where if you like what Stephen moffat is doing with doctor who then you think all of doctor who is perfect but the problem is now if you don't like what Stephen moffat's doing with the show you can't like any of the show if you don't like Stephen moffat you can't like doctor who i think that's a real problem that i don't think think i don't think it's it's something that people who like Stephen moffat can really come to terms with because they <laughs> can't really see that perspective I, it annoys me because people think oh well done Stephen, you, you've you've gotten rid of this this obstacle for future writers it's an opportunity to tell great stories it, it allows you to play with the doctor's mortality differently because you know if he's scared of dying himself maybe he won't go in to save someone at the last moment maybe he will Maybe his morality would change. No! Ah! No! Carry on, John. Maybe his morality would change over the course of that series. And, you know, that's been lost now. It was brought up 20 minutes into the episode and then solved 10 minutes later. I mean... I think that's yeah. all we've got time for at the moment because I, I don't... I've got, I've got to finish this game. I've got to... I've got to... I think, I think I'm doing all right. No! Ah! No, William Hartnell. How many, what doctor did you get up to? This time I was on Chris. I think we'll call it a day now, John. Well, you can call it, I'm going to keep playing this game. Me too. Ah, William Hartnell! There must be no regrets, no tears, no anxieties. Just go forward in all your beliefs and prove to me that I am not mistaken in mine.